Alright guys, it is close enough to midnight on Wednesday night, uh, November 28th, 2018, to make it Thursday, November 29th, 2018. So I'm actually thinking about doing a, just for old time's sake, a climate change meltdown roundup ramp for tomorrow. So while I'm waiting for this various shit to download and upload and cross load or whatever the fuck it's doing on this uh, steam powered computer uh, I just thought I would sit here and bitch and moan and whine for a few minutes for my weekly depressed collapsitarian whine that you guys enjoy so much uh, reveling in Hambone's misery and, and, and I tell you guys the last week has truly fucking sucked on every fucking level. This has been one fucking suck ass week. You know, I've been uh, I, I, I've been expecting this suck ass week going back to this goddamn uh, job uh, from hell at the Optimus Club Christmas tree lot, uh, selling dead trees to clueless fucking morons for the Optimus Club. So I, you know guys, I, I'm fully expecting, uh, you know, the goddamn just getting my ass hammered every day. What am I, we've made it through day six now. So, I, you know, the, the, the fucking backache uh, was to be expected. I guess I should be glad I haven't had a fucking hernia yet anyway. So anyway, the little dog and I, uh, well, particularly I, ha have been getting my ass kicked by, by this fucking job, and, and you would think that that would be enough, but, but fuck no, uh, it's, it's just like goddamn everything is turning to fucking shit in, in, in my life. Uh, in the past week, and the little dog's life too. Good God, how many, how many things did just out of the fucking nowhere? I, I'm dealing with that goddamn shit at that job, and so this, this very nice woman that I met on Pile of Fish has set me up in this apartment. You know, this echo chamber you're hearing. Uh, you know, so I, like some other members, some other doomers out here, I do have a, uh, not a deep pocket sugar tit, but a shallow pocket sugar tit setting me up in this fine apartment in Austin, Texas. It ain't quite Westchester County, New York, but hey, uh, you, you know, we can't all have deep pocket sugar tits. So anyway, so, so I'm in this apartment, which is great, but it would be really fucking nice if I had internet. I've, I've got everything here I need, but except for goddamn Wi-Fi, and it's just unbelievable what the fuck I've, I've had to go through. Trying to find, it, it's not just trying to find Wi-Fi. No shit Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, you can find fucking Wi-Fi all over Austin, Texas, which means you can find fucking Wi-Fi, you know, to go and, and check your email and shit. But if you're trying to upload fucking YouTube videos, it, it, it's, it, it's unbelievable how, how hard it is. That, that everywhere. It is uh, banning YouTube and, and, and just just watching them. I, I don't know if, it, if it's a matter of the bandwidth that it, that it takes up fucking with other people's internet experience, you know, in Starbucks or McDonald's or wherever. I think it's partly that and partly the fact that they just don't want, you know, like at Starbucks going in there and buying a fucking cup of coffee and sitting there for the next eight hours uh, watching uh, 
YouTube videos. But anyway, it's getting fucking hard to find a place to uh, upload YouTube videos. So I'm dealing with all of this fucking shit. You know, I, I had an interview for uh, Collapse Chronicles this morning. I have another one on Friday. And, and the goddamn hoops that I need to go through to find the place to have a fucking interview. And uh, now my friend where I had the interview today, she is saying, well, and not so sure that you can come to my place on Friday, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm probably going to have to find somewhere else to go. And, and now I'm, I just figured out that my dog has lost his fucking collar. Uh, amazingly enough, so th this dog, th this is something that, uh, so th this will be the segue enough of the goddamn internet. I'm sure you've heard this story about what I've gone through about this fucking rabies thing. And, and it's a damn good thing that I did not put his brand new rabies tag. This dog has had his collar with his little identification tag uh, around his neck for three fucking years. And now I see his collar is gone. Where did you lose your collar? You've had it since St. Croix. It's just shit like this. Three fucking years. This dog has had his had had his collar with his you know his little identification tag with my name and email address and phone number. Now I have to go get you a fucking new identification tag because I guess you lost your goddamn collar uh, at the Christmas tree lot. Did you lose your fucking collar at the Christmas? Where did you lose your goddamn collar? Now I gotta add this to my fucking. It, it's un. It, it is totally amazing, guys that I actually did not put his, uh, his rabies sack. That would, have been, that would have been the perfect fucking ending to this story about this goddamn rabies tag. Thank God I put it in my fucking wallet and not on your collar because you would have lost it the first fucking day. Now I gotta get you another uh, ID tag. You know that. You know that then I have to go get you another ID tag. Add that to my list. So it's this, it's this goddamn rabies thing. Good God Almighty, you know. It's the second fucking day on the Christmas tree lot. For you who haven't heard this story, it's some clueless fucking moron. It was this couple. It, 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 was, a, it, it was a mother and a father. They have a goddamn 18 month old baby. An 18 month old baby. And they set a fucking 18 month old baby next to a strange dog that they have never met, that the kid has not seen. They, they put a Sancho Panza as their goddamn babysitter, leave their fucking 18 month old child in the care of Sancho Panza. They go off shopping for fucking Christmas trees, leaving Sancho Panza to be their, their little brat's babysitter. And next thing they know, the fucking kid has a bloody lip. And Sancho Panza is being accused of biting this little guy. Uh, and with, with no witnesses, uh, I have said all along that what he did was he pawed the kid. This happened last year at the lot when the little shit pawed some little girl. He pawed this kid's lip and split his lip open, blood flying everywhere, and they're claiming that. My goddamn dog bit their fucking kid. Uh, he should have ripped his fucking face off. I can't imagine what the little brat. Uh, I mean, the kid's father, you know, even admitted in, in his last email to me that he's not blaming Sancho. He's blaming his own fucking little brat. Well, it's not. He's blaming an 18-month-old child. He's not blaming his own clueless fucking moron ass for leaving his goddamn 18-month-old child with a strange dog and walking off. 
Now, there, there's some goddamn parents of the year, and unbelievably, I found his, uh, I found Sancho's rabies certificate dated June 2nd, 2016, and they, and the parents of this little fucker accepted it and are not, uh, you know, calling the dog pound, in which case Sancho would have been uh, stuck in the fucking dog pound for the next three weeks, and I would have been sent a bill for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and Sancho Panza would have been declared a vicious animal. So somehow I narrowly avoided that. So today, Oh, where what I've been fucking with uh, is I I heard about this uh, this outfit called Amansa Pet. I don't know if if you guys have it in your city, but in Austin, I mean it's a great service. They, you get free rabies, back, completely free rabies vaccinations. Uh, the the only problem is it took four hours. Four fucking hours to get his rabies vaccination today, which is the reason that uh, I did not have a, a video today. I was dealing with this fucking dog's rabies shot, but he has a rabies shot, and they were telling me, well, you need to put the tag on his collar, and I said, and I said that, uh, well, I, I don't trust him not to lose his collar, so I'm going to stick his rabies tag in my pocket and look and look now, guys. Look, look at this. Twelve hours later, he's lost his fucking collar. I already would have lost the fucking rabies tag in the first twelve hours. So thank God I had the brain. So anyway, I think the fucking rabies uh, deal is over. So Sancho has been being uh, completely molested all week by an army of these of these little brats. But I guess he's having some fun. What else is going on? Okay, so here's the, the other major thing, as you might have seen my video. So, uh, you know, when was it? What is night? When? It was Monday, it was Sunday night. Uh, either, I can't even remember, yeah, Sunday night, I, I go to the goddamn, uh, I, I go to the goddamn Shoal Creek Saloon, and I get a beer, and I order a basket of their homemade potato chips, which are delicious, by the way, you know, where they make them right there and fry them up, and they're real crunchy, and they're good, they're, they're like, you know those, uh, what do they call those, those kettle chips on steroids, the first mother fucking potato chip out of the goddamn basket. The first one I stick in my mouth, I bite down, and my fucking molar, my lower molar, which I knew was, I knew this was going to happen eventually, and it just chose this week to happen fucking explodes but it it didn't just fall out of my goddamn head like I wish it had what it did it, it just broke into all these jagged ass pieces and so what's been going on is is I've had the, these goddamn shards of this shattered fucking molar slicing up the bottom and the side of my tongue for three fucking days and nights with everything else I'm dealing with that that I have this open running sore on, on uh, the bottom and the back of my tongue. And do you know what it feels like to bite your fucking tongue? Well, imagine you're biting your fucking tongue every fucking second of your life day in and night out, and so every night I go in there with my damn fingernail file and, and file down the, you know, try to file off whatever point, and I feel like I'm making progress, but then I eat, and the tooth, or what's left of the tooth, 
it, it you know it migrates it moves around and it just has to move one hundredth of one inch and every fucking day I've got a new jagged piece it's like a, a piece of broken fucking glass under my goddamn tongue I've been dealing with this fucking shit for 72 hours and everything else on my goddamn plate I, I've got this fucking bloody running sore this open wound uh, on the on the underside of my fucking tongue and don't think that doesn't fucking suck uh, dealing with this shit and then so, so what else so I don't know if any of you remember my little adventure I had in uh, in Los Angeles last year when, when my goddamn uh, door lock on my gas sucking truck broke on the driver's side of my truck Thank God I still had the lock on the passenger side and I spent four fucking days of my life, four fucking days driving all around LA in a goddamn uh, heat wave in 110 degree heat. It was the eighth, the eighth fucking locksmith mechanic that even agreed to do the goddamn job. I finally found this dude. I still remember his name, L. Chicken. L. Chicken. He was from uh, El Salvador. And uh, for $225, he fixed the lock on the driver's side. So take a wild guess what happened yesterday. The lock on the passenger side of my truck is now broken so I'm down to one lock so if the fucking lock on the driver's side goes out I'm fucked I'm completely fucked so anyway so I'm dealing with this this morning I'm already down to one lock so what I do this morning I, I need to get uh, I interviewed uh, this fellow for Collapse Chronicles uh, and I was uh, and I was in a hurry to get Oh, I can feel blood dripping down the side of my tongue while I'm having this. This, this, this constant little salty drain of blood going down uh, my throat uh, for the past three days, uh, dealing with this fucking tooth. And uh, so, anyway, so here's what happens this morning. I go out, so I, 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 I pack the truck, I take Sancho on a morning walk to go pee before I go on the, on the thing. We come back to my truck, I put Sancho back in the truck. Thank God I don't, I, I, I don't lock the fucking truck. That the, the driver's side door, thank God I did not lock. So I get in the goddamn car, uh, I, I actually start the engine and then I remember my fucking cell phone which is never supposed to leave the fucking truck. The mother fucking smart phone is never supposed to leave that fucking truck but because I don't have any fucking internet in this goddamn apartment means I don't have any fucking Skype. So, if I want to make a fucking phone call from this goddamn place with no internet, I got to do it on this motherfucking smartphone, which is also the only clock I have. Well, I have the clock on my computer too, but if I want to know what fucking time it is, it's, it's on this goddamn smartphone which I notice is now I've left out in the truck. So I don't have a goddamn, I don't have a fucking uh, clock anymore. Are you getting tired of this wine? The dog is asking me, could I wrap up this wine? So anyway, you know where this is going. So I don't have the goddamn cell phone, which I need at the Christmas tree lot since we don't have any fucking uh, internet there either I, I have to you know 
So I leave Sancho in the truck. I come back to get the motherfucking cell phone. Okay, so I, I've already left and locked up the apartment. I unlock the goddamn apartment. I come in here. I pick up the motherfucking cell phone, which never should have left the truck, to take it back to the truck. And, and somehow, don't ask me how I did this, in the process of locking the door, and the process of locking the, uh, the, the door, the, uh, I managed to smash the fucking key to the truck. And it's one of these goddamn uh, keys with this little fucking chip in it. All right, you know what I'm talking about? That this motherfucking key costs 250 fucking dollars to replace the key. Do you want, Sancho has heard just about enough of this goddamn whine. So I manage, in shutting the door, as I'm rushing out the door to get to this interview, which I'm running late for, I manage to smash my $250 fucking key in the door. Which, so now it's been all like this, and now, of course, thank God, I, uh, I, the, the, I could get in the truck, but of course the motherfucking key, this $250 key, wouldn't go in the goddamn ignition. I get out, I set the key on the fucking concrete step and get a rock and start hammering this $250 fucking key with a rock like I'm some goddamn Stone Age savage. And, and uh, amazingly, I got that motherfucker to start the truck. It wouldn't, it, so now, but it would not unlock the door. So I have no way to lock the truck because, uh, you know, God damn it, guys. So now I have to add a fucking trip, uh, you know, to the locksmith. Uh, put that in my goddamn day to go by the goddamn locksmith and we put the key in the vice grip and we shut down the vice grip and we hammer the fucking key and so anyway I got the goddamn key problem fixed but I still uh, can't get in the fucking passenger side of the door and so I've only got one lock on the goddamn truck so if that motherfucking lock goes so now I've got to, uh, to, to fix the, this $225 lock repair job. Uh, you know, find someone in Austin to fix a fucking Toyota truck lock for $225 fucking dollars that, that I'm getting ready to spend on that goddamn lock job. So here I sit with the fucking with fucking blood running down my goddamn throat with a shattered fucking molar with a goddamn aching back uh Jesus fucking Christ a busted truck uh my goddamn rabid dog has been taking and now I got to deal with a fucking uh with with a fucking ID tag on the goddamn dog. I've got another fucking interview on Friday morning. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going to go to have that goddamn interview. Of course, I left all the shit uh, to, to do that interview at my friend's house, and she says I can't do the interview there. And, I, and all the shit to do the fucking interview is down there in South Austin. You know, and, and, and now I get to wake up tomorrow, and I think it's going to be like 80 fucking degrees in, in, in Austin, Texas, in the last few days of November, and all the goddamn Christmas trees are drying out, so I've got to spend my goddamn day 
they getting soaking wet, hosing down a bunch of overheated Christmas trees to sell the clueless fucking morons at the Optimus Club. You know, as my goddamn tongue it looks like a fucking piece of hamburger, the goddamn my teeth falling out of my mouth. I, I and somehow I've managed to lose my brand new vest, my brand new goose down vest. And, 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 and you know, th this last vest I've had for five fucking years, I get a brand new uh, goose down vest last week and it's gone. The first fucking week uh, I've, I've lost my fucking vest. You know, I, I, I hate my fucking life. Everything about this fucking life can go fuck itself. And that brings me to the end of this week's depressed collapsitarian wine. And I will get up tomorrow and we will have a good old fashioned uh, climate change meltdown roundup rant on Humpty Dumpty Tribe coming up tomorrow morning. But it is midnight and I got to say Buenas noches. Bye guys.